Hey Warriors, it's been too long since we've seen each other, but uh, I thought as your chaplain I should uh, maybe deliver a couple of uh, words of inspiration, uh, a little devotional as you will. Um, not sure if we're going to have our meeting in a couple of weeks, but uh, I think it's uh, worthwhile maybe uh, having some uh, interaction on our Facebook page. So uh, I'm starting us off with a, with a little devotional in this video. And uh, these are interesting times. We've never been through anything like this before and it's all new. It's all new. And the word that I've been using, it's unnatural. It's not natural for us to isolate like this. We want to be with each other, especially as uh, as believers in Jesus, one of the greatest draws we have is the Holy Spirit drawing us to each other. And that we have to stay at home and, and stay away from other people is just unnatural. So I was thinking about this and um, came across this passage. It's in Second Chronicles chapter 32, starting with verse, verse 1. And uh, Hezekiah is king of Judah, and Hezekiah is a very good king. He's gotten rid of all of the uh, Astra poles and the idols to Baal, and uh, he's reinstated the law and reinstated the uh, the temple and, and everything having to do there. And as a reward for all of that work, he gets invaded. Starting in verse one of. Chapter 32, after these acts of faithfulness, Sarakanib, king of Assyria, came and invaded Judah and besieged in the fortified cities and thought to break into them for himself. Now when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib had come and that he intended to make war in Jerusalem, he decided with his officers and his warriors to cut off the supply of water from the springs which were outside the city, and they helped him. So many people assembled and stopped up all the springs and the stream which flowed throughout the region, saying, Why should the kings of Assyria come and find abundant water? And he took courage, and he rebuilt all, and he rebuilt all the wall that had been broken down, and erected towers to it, and built another outside wall, and strengthened the millow in the city of David, and made weapons and shields in great number. He appointed military officers over the people, and gathered them, him in the square of the city gate, and spoke encouragingly to them, saying, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dismayed because the king of Assyria, nor because of the horde that is with him. For the one with us is greater than the one with him. With him is only an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people relied on the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. I, I love this passage because there's several elements I think that are really pertinent to us today in these times of uh, of quarantine, of isolation, of battle. We're battling this virus. This virus is a foreign invader. We didn't ask for this virus. We didn't want this virus, but the virus came and we have to deal with the virus. And so the first thing I, I notice about this passage is that even though Hezekiah was doing all the right things, tough times came anyway. And we have to remember that as, as Christ followers. Christ never promised us a life of easy rest and comfort. In fact, he promised the opposite. He said our lives would be difficult. But that difficulty is not purposeless. It has meaning. It it means something when we go through these trials and sufferings. And so is the same with Hezekiah. What it taught Hezekiah was, and it, what he actually taught the people of Judah, was that their reliance 
is on the Lord and not of their own strength. And we need to keep that in mind these days. The other thing I, I noticed here is that the people did a very unnatural thing. They cut off the supply of water from the springs. That's not natural. You want water to be flowing from the springs, especially in that area. When Carrie and I were in Israel uh, last February, in February of 2019, the place, places that they're talking about here is very, very dry and desert. And water is such a commodity. It's, it's the most precious thing. And to stop up the springs was a drastic measure. Very unnatural. We have to do that too. You know, I, I think about my mom, and I think about Carrie's mom and dad, and they're not in good health, and they're old, and if they were to get the virus, I, I, I can't even imagine what would happen. So I have to do something very unnatural with my mom, and that's stay away from her, and I don't like that. But it needs to be done. And I think we all need to kind of do this. And it was really disappointing that we had to cancel the bike blessing. And it seemed unnatural, right? When when we get together as, as, as the body of Christ, as CMA chapter Warriors of Fire, we should be on power for God. But doing an unnatural thing sometimes is the right thing. It's the hard thing, but it's the right thing. And I think that's what was happening here with Hezekiah. Stopping up those springs was an unnatural thing. In, off, in any other time, it would be a wrong thing to do. But in this time, it was the right thing to do. The other thing that I notice here is he took courage and rebuilt all the walls of the city. He built up for himself a defense. Right here. This is our defense. The Bible, the scriptures, the word of God is our defense. The Holy Spirit living within us is our defense. We can always lean on these two things. These are our walls. And then lastly, I just want to point out his words to the people. And verse 7 of, of chapter 32 is so powerful. We hear these words often in Scripture. But it's always really cool to look at the circumstances in which they were said. In this case, you know, Hezekiah and the people of Judah are looking at an overwhelming army. The Assyrians were the bad boys on the block. These were, uh, from modern day Iraq, a, uh, a huge empire coming against this little teeny nation. And so Hezekiah after stopping up the wells and building the walls and gathering the people together said be strong and courageous do not fear or be dismayed and then in verse 8 he says with him meaning Sennacherib but we can say with COVID-19 is only an arm of the flesh but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. God is with us. Sometimes he feels distant, especially when we are isolated and we can't touch other Christian believers other than maybe our spouse. And uh, that relationship is, is so important. But it's important to gather with other believers as well and we, we can't do that right now except through video. Zoom, Microsoft Teams, little plug there. Um, and that's all unnatural. But the Lord our God is here to help us and to fight our battle. Live that today. Take that as a word of encouragement. If you're in despair, if you're finding this whole thing really depressing, and I do, I'm struggling with depression right now. So this, this word is more for me than for anybody else. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe uh, other people are getting something out of it, but boy, I needed to hear this today. And Father God, I just pray, pray, pray blessings 
over my brothers and sisters and warriors of fire and anybody else who might be watching this video Lord that you would guide and protect them and Lord give them peace the peace that passes all understanding which is your peace through Jesus our Lord Amen